Firstly, I would like to introduce myself and my team members. I'm Punya Bhikkhe and my team members are Arujita, Pradwal and Kamsa. Today we are going to explain about our project in soil classification and classification using machine learning under the guidance of Professor Kavya Ramshan Kamal. Coming to our introduction, we have known agriculture is the main source of income for most of the population. So farmers are always curious about field production. Many factors are responsible like Soil, weather, rain, fertilizers, and pesticides to increase wheat production. Agriculture is like a soil based industry, and increase in wheat can only be attained by ensuring that soil provides a balanced and an adequate supply of nutrients. Soil therapy is fueled in understanding the deficiencies in soil and avoiding a nutrient imbalance. The, in this project, we mainly focus on the uh, different soil types, crop types, and soil test reports. We can say soil is an important ingredient of agriculture. There are several types of soil, and each type of soil can have a different kinds of features, and different kinds of crops grow on a different types of soil. And we must know which crop grow better in our soil. And we are going to propose a model that can predict the soil series with a land type. And according to the prediction, it can suggest a suitable crops for that particular soil series. In this project, we are using several machine learning algorithms like. SVM and uh, Navy Bayer's algorithm. For the classification purpose, we are using the SVM algorithm, and for the prediction purpose, we are using Navy Bayer's algorithm. Next motivation is explained by the teacher. Good afternoon, everyone. As we know, agriculture plays a uh, significant role in the growth of natural economy, national economy and it rely on weather and uh, other environmental aspects. Where soil is an important ingredient of the agriculture, we need to know its feature and characteristics. And also there are several kinds of soil. Each soil type differ its feature from other type of soil. The farmers are falling into debts because they have to face the decrease in crop productivity, which in turn increase the risk of their profit. This is because uh, without knowing the type of soil and suitable crop to grow there. And hence we motive to classify the soil and suggest the suitable crops which can be grown in that soil. And then coming to the existing system, in the current framework, the dirt can be tried just to look at the fruitfulness and dampness level. Then it must be given to the lab testing where it may take the few days to bring out the outcomes where farmers has to wait till they get the reports where it is a manual identification of the soil in the lab and hence uh, it is time consuming and manual errors are more in this case and hence there will be a loss of crop yield and then the proposed system will be explained by our teammate Kavita. Coming to the proposed system here user will be collecting all available data sets of a particular soil and upload it to the web app. Then data comparison will take place with the help of support vector machine classifier is a supervised machine learning algorithm which can be used for both classification and regression challenges. Here we use Navebase for uh, predicting purpose which can be extremely fast relative to other classification algorithms. It works on base theorem of probability to predict the class of unknown data sets. Here we use data sets model to implement the ideas or information brought by dissecting the area, utilizing model to estimate crop so that farmers can develop crop and get great yield and profit. Some of the advantages of our proposed system are manual work is reduced, accuracy is increased, crop for the particular soil is identified and time consumption is increased. Next objective will be objective will be explained by Prajwal P. Here the objective are the firstly we collect the data set of the soil type and the now matching crop type. And then we classify the soil types based on its attributes like the pH level, NPK content in soil and uh, surface, uh, surface temperature. And then we put the data into the machine and then uh, it will uh, suggest the crop based on soil series. And we can uh, maintain the crop health by suggesting the requirement, uh, required nutrients and fertilizers. Yes, 
conclusion uh, about coming to software requirements we are operating on basis of windows 7 and above coding language which we are using is python and tool ideally it provides graphical user interface it is platform independent and hardware requirements are processor intel i3 3.30 gigahertz hard disk will be 40 gb minimum and ram up to 4 gb we are using conclusion will be continued by prajwal in conclusion the project aims at creating a model that efficiently classifies the soil instances and uh, map the soil type to the crop data to get the predict to get the better prediction with higher accuracy the model has been tested using machine learning algorithms such as uh, svm and uh, navy bias which is uh, faster and used for prediction the accuracy for brazil model is maximum in this existing model Yeah, you all have done with the presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, get back to the proposals, sir. here you are telling that you are going to select the uh, soil data right yes sir Where, uh, how do you collect the data what, what data you are going to collect from soil sir uh, soil data is with several properties sir which it contains and also whether you are considering the physical properties of the soil or the chemical properties of the soil chemical sir chemical properties sir uh, you can can you tell me what are the chemical properties as of now we have you uh, verified that We are considering pH values, temperature, and uh, fertilization. Okay. So, in a pro existing system, you said that it is manually collected. Can you please differentiate clearly how the data is collected manually? How we are collecting it? Manually, how we collect? Okay. In existing system, that means that is your uh, proposed system. How it, how you are collecting it? Whether you are going to co collect the data from the lab or you are going to collect it from the directly from the soil, go to the lab or what you are doing? The farmers are there to collecting. Uh huh. From lab, we are collecting. From lab, you are collecting. So even we can collect the information from a food agriculture organization. So they they will be keeping all the records of the soil. So so we can. Directly go there and also we can bring the information, sir. Then how is that different from the manual test? Sir, as it is, the time comes to me, Binda. No, see, in manual yeah, testing. So in manually, you are going to classify the soil mesh. How procedure? What is the procedure? We collect the soil data, sir. No, and directly. Then we classify. See, see, manually, how you collect the data, sir? Ah, uh, it can be from the direct uh, users or like uh, uh, in the lab. Uh, in your system also, you are collecting from the lab only, no? And what is the difference between yes, manual? Sir, but and your... uh, in the lab, um, manual errors are more, sir. So you are just are, collecting it. Are using... You are just collecting the data. Collecting data also, you will do error. So then we will classify more. Like uh, we we are using the SPM. So that, is, uh, that is with respect to your uh, machine learning techniques. That you can do it uh, from the data set. I am very much clear with that. So you yes, have uh, proposed that from a manual to your system. You are in a better way of doing it because manual errors are there. Whatever it is there, I am not concerned about it. I am asking manually. Sir, users are. Can you enter the enter the. Ah ah. Enter the. Can you enter the data? Like I think I'm so sorry. Ah, in your system, it itself the data gets added itself on its own. You said that users are going to enter the data. 
in your case what is happening what are the different attributes which are actually necessary to classify it as one type of soil and pH, temperature, and uh, fertilization. So these are not an exhaustive listener. They can be more also. But have you finalized the attributes? Yes, oh, that's what. Have you finalized only three attributes? Yes, ma'am. You are finalized. Okay. So then, uh, if you enter these three details, then what next will happen? You have. When using the uh, SVM algorithm, it will classify the soil type and mm. uh, put it into the soil type, it will predict the uh, suitable crop for that uh, soil type. Man. Okay, is it 100% accurate? No, ma'am, and 90%. Ma'am, 96%. Okay, 96 using which algorithm you are talking about? SVM algorithm, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Have you finalized the attributes as only three pH value, uh, temperature, and one more is? The okay. Uh, can you uh, can you whether temperature is actually the chemical attribute? I don't think so. We will add the NPK content in the soil, sir. Hmm? Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium content. That's chemical. No, property. it depends on the temperate regions, right? When you go for a temperate regions and when you go for uh, other regions, you, the, the temperature will not uh, depends on the weather condition, not the, the chemical property of the soil. Sir, so, so even if the humidity is high, then the crop will get spoiled, no, sir? Mm -hmm. yeah, are you sure with these things? Not a component of these three attributes. If we are worked on the research, uh, worked on your literature, then so only one clarity I need is uh, how is this different from manual and uh, proposed? So we can also you can just verify your Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Tell we me. can also include uh, chemical features like potassium, sulfur, zinc, fertilizers. Yeah. There are the, that's what the third property. What you told was your chemical uh, fertilizers only. That will include the uh, calcium, magnesium, potassium. Okay. Yes. Yes. K, M, G, and C, A. That is fine with that. And also, phosphorus also you can add. Not an issue with that. So, only point you have to clear with your guide is uh, that how uh, this point, how you have to justify the point with respect to manual and uh, your data. Because whoever gives the data, once he enters into the system, that data you are collecting. So, uh, the question arises manually means um, whether the person is going to the uh, farmers and collecting the soil or you are directly going to the lab means there is no question of manual collection of data. So you can just verify this, and I think so. This is a good project. You can continue. Okay, we will uh, have a discussion maybe if, when you come to college or some next. So far, uh, you, you ask your classmates if they have any questions for you. Does anybody have any questions? Please ask. All right, fine. We'll end the meeting now. You can end the meeting and we'll have further discussion about this. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you.